Eric and Shelby, uh, you guys have to have a debate for YouTube presidency. Um, and I am going to monitor it. So uh, name the day and I will monitor your debate. Peter and Amy and Andy, um, Monday was absolutely awesome. Uh, so fun to watch. Um, so great job with that. It's, it's a shame that it had to, you know, have negative effects later on. But, I mean, just in general, that was an awesome video. Congratulations. I loved it so much. Um, Amy, you asked something like, why is your cleavage always showing or something like that? Um, I think the obvious answer is that you're a slut. Just kidding. You know I love you. Then on Wednesday, uh, Shelby, you asked how tall we all are. Um, I haven't measured myself in a couple years. Last time I did was in high school. I think it was 5'9 or 5'10. I'm definitely not 6 feet. Um, I'm a pretty average height for a guy. Uh, and yeah, Eric is the shortest guy I know. That He's probably like 3.5 feet. So, <laughs> he's little. On Thursday, Eric, you asked about our alcoholic drink of choice. And... Um, you actually know mine because when I had my welcome home party when I came back from Florida um, after my internship, uh, you were there and I made everyone Tokyo Sunsets. Uh, and it's a mixture of pineapple juice and peach schnapps and um, cream de banana and all these different kinds of alcohol. It's amazing. So great. What? Yeah. Making a video. Yeah, I want to watch The Office, and that's all I have time for. Okay, bye. Um, yeah, I didn't get to go to Ohio last week uh, because my mom actually hurt herself um, Thursday night. So I um, ended up staying in Racine for the weekend. But um, let's play a little game called Where is Alex Going This Week? The answer is California. Um, so, I'm, tomorrow I'm going to be in L.A., um, and my honey honey just surprised me with, uh, tickets to see Wicked, which is my absolute favorite show. I'm so excited to see the, the L.A. cast, um, so I can't wait for that. Super excited. And then, um, on Saturday we're going to Disneyland. Um, on Sunday we're doing a four-mile charity walk for Anaheim Children's Hospital, um, so I'm very excited for that as well. Um, Eric's other question. He wanted us to talk about our favorite part of his face. Um, hmm. What an odd question. I'm gonna say your beard. Uh, because you have a pretty neat beard slash mustache. Your facial hair in general, including the bald spot, um, would be my favorite part of your face, Eric. Okay, so I'm in a hurry because I want to watch The Office and then I gotta go to bed. I'm already packed and everything. Um, I have a couple tests to study for while I'm away, so that stinks. But um, my question for the week. On Saturday, um, a couple of public service announcements came out about um, anti-gay speech. Um, and they're, they're actually all three really good. One of them has Wanda Sykes. Another one has um, Hilary Duff. So I'm going to put links to all three of those videos in the sidebar. Um, so everyone watching, this is for Midwesterners and subscribers. Um, do you think it's okay for people to say the phrase, that's so gay, when they're talking about something being bad? Or um, should it be eliminated from the everyday slang, I guess? It's something that I used to say um, a couple of years ago, like three years ago. Uh, someone called me out when I said it and, you know, explained to me why it's bad. Because, you know, it's using the way someone is in a negative light. And um, I'd never really thought about it before. Um, and so I'm just wondering, do you guys think it's acceptable to use that phrase? Or um, is it completely unacceptable? And do any of you call people out on it? Because I personally um, don't like to... I, I avoid conflict whenever possible. So I've never actually called someone out on it personally. But I'd like to. Um, I'm just chicken shit. So that's my question. Everybody have a good weekend, and I'll see you all Friday. Uh, Peter, we'll see you Monday.